Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy June, it is June, we are halfway through 2022 which is crazy to me and every month as you know I do a favorite. So this is going to be my May favorites. I have lots and lots and lots of WW food favorites. I have a couple of home favorites and some beauty slash skincare favorites. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a favorites every month and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below. I will link everything that I share with you today with the exception of what you can find maybe at your local grocery store, but everything will be linked down below for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let me help you reach your weight loss goals. You'll also find links and discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We would love to have you. So I have a lot of favorites to share with you. So let's jump in. we're going to start with my WW food favorites and I have lots and lots of them to share with you this month. So the first one that I want to share with you, I'm going to share first so I can get it back in the freezer, but this is the Aunt Millie's Live Carb Smart Bread. This is in 5C. I keep mine in the freezer so that it lasts longer because it is not an inexpensive bread. However, it is really good. It is only 40 calories per slice, and it is some of the best lower carb, lower calorie bread that I've ever had. It is nice and soft and fluffy. It's not like cardboard. Hashtag Sara Lee, 45 calorie. This one is like real bread, just a little bit smaller piece. It's really delicious. I bought mine off of Nutrition. I have heard that you can sometimes find this particular bread in your local grocery store. If you know what stores sell this bread, let me know because I ordered mine off of Nutrition. It was worth the money. It's the best low carb bread I've ever had. A little sweet treat favorite are these Chalk Zero. These are the peppermint white chocolate squares. So these actually give me all of the Ghirardelli vibes. You know, the little Ghirardelli chocolate squares. Squares, they're about the same size as those. These are 60 calories a piece. I bought these off of Nutrition. I placed a big order and got my favorite pasta. Lots of the items in here came from Nutrition, so I'll let you know which one. So if you wanna order the pasta, the fiber gourmet pasta, you can add some of these other goodies to your cart, but these are really good. They taste like peppermint bark candy, and one of them is the perfect little sweet treat. They taste just like regular white chocolate peppermint squares. I don't find anything dieted down when it comes to the taste of these. They're really good. Next up is from the brand Partake, and you guys know how much I love my Partake cookies. You can find these at Trader Joe's. They don't have a lot of the different flavors, but they have some, same with Target. Target sells Partake. This is the lemon. These are so good. They give me lemon meringue pie vibes. They're really, really delicious. I actually bought these off of Imperfect Foods. You guys know I order from them about every two weeks. It helps support a great small business and it helps contribute to stopping food waste. So Imperfect Foods sells food products that would otherwise be discarded or end up in our landfill for an affordable price to us. And right now they're offering $40 worth of free groceries $40. So with the grocery prices these days, you can't beat it. I'll make sure Imperfect Foods is linked down below, but I bought these off of Imperfect Foods a few weeks ago and I love them. You can have three cookies for 140 calories. I generally only have one or two, but they're so lemony and so good. So, so good. And Partake cookies actually have great ingredients. I get asked all the time, all the time, how I reach my protein goal. And I always let you guys know that I do use protein supplements. I have a protein shake in my coffee every morning. And this is another protein supplement that I've been loving. This is from the brand Isopure. And this little goodie right here goes right into your water. I have the pineapple orange banana protein powder. So this isn't like 
typical protein powder. When you add this to your water and you mix it up, it becomes clear like water with a little hint of color. So it actually looks kind of like juice. And this is going to offer you 20 grams of protein. It tastes really, really good. So I use this for two things. Number one, to get in protein and number two, to get in water. I add one scoop to a cup of water every day and I get in my water and I get in my protein. And like I said, they have several different flavors of this. I just bought this off of Amazon. I love it. It tastes really, really good and it's come in really handy to get in some extra protein. Now here's another thing I'm literally obsessed with. I've shared this a few times in my Facebook group and in what I eat in a days, and that is the American Dream Nut Butter. This is literally the best nut butter I've ever had in my entire life. Every single one I've tried is a 10 out of 10. This particular one is one tough cookie and this is cashew butter. So they have cashew butter, peanut butter, almond butter, Look at the inside of this. There are all these delicious mix-ins like chocolate cookies and mini M&Ms. And what is crazy to me about these nut butters is they are less calories and points than traditional peanut butter. So if you picked up Jeff or Skippy or Adams, this is less points and calories and tastes so much better. There's 155 calories in two tablespoons of this particular nut butter. I find that they're anywhere from 150 to about 165 calories for two tablespoons, where like Jif peanut butter is 190. They're less points, they taste way better. I really, really love American Dream Nut Butter. I actually just ordered three more flavors. What I've been doing is putting a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of this on a rice cake, and that's been an afternoon snack. Sometimes I pair it with a cheese stick for some extra protein, and I just really love it. It is so good. Every flavor I've tried has been amazing. My two all-time favorite flavors so far are the One Tough Cookie and the Santa's Magic. The Santa's Magic is like magic in your mouth. It is so good, and it's an almond butter. All the, all the butters are really, really good. Highly recommend, I'll link them down below with 10% off. Let's talk about another couple sweet treats because you know I love my sweet treats. Starting with this little gem right here, which I also purchased with my nutrition order. These are the Cocomel's Coconut Milk Caramels, but these are the sugar free ones. They're sweetened with allulose, which is a natural sweetener that's derived from figs. So they taste just like the full sugar caramels. These are so delicious. Here's the size of them. You can actually have three of these, three for 35 calories. Three caramels, all of these for 35 calories. These are incredible. These are a staple for me when I want something sweet. I will always buy these again. Again, I pick them up with my nutrition order. You guys know I love the fiber gourmet pasta, so I actually placed an order for that, and then I found so many good things that I've been loving in that same order, including these sugar-free caramels. So good. This is the other sweet treat that I picked up off of nutrition. I used to share the sweet nothings a lot on my channel years ago, and I kind of forgot about them and stopped buying them, but I saw them on the website and so I picked up a box of the Caramel Pecan Clusters. You guys, these are so good. What's great about these is they are individually wrapped. So it automatically helps with portion control because I can very easily overeat these. So I like that they are portion controlled, individually wrapped, 35 calories a piece, and it tastes like a turtle. Like a legit turtle. There is nothing sugar-free or diet about these. They're really really delicious. I mean, really good. The caramel in these is incredible. So highly recommend Sweet Nothings. They have so many different flavors. This time I picked up the Caramel Pecan Clusters, but now that I've rediscovered them and re-fallen in love with them, I'll definitely be buying some other flavors with my next nutrition order. Here's another snack that I hemmed and hot about that I debated on picking up, and these are the Wild Sea Salt and Vinegar Chips made from chicken. Yes, these are made from chicken breast. There is no potato in these chips. Crispy chips made from 100% natural chicken breast and tapioca starch. These are delicious. They actually taste to be like regular potato chips. After you chew them, you do get like a little taste of chicken. Here's what they look like. So they actually look like just your traditional potato chip, but to me they taste really like a regular potato chip and they have 10 grams of protein per serving. It's 160 calories for half of this bag. This bag is only two servings, which is going to be about 20 of the chips. 
They're really good. If you love chips for the crunch, you love sea salt, they have buffalo, they have so many flavors, and you want 10 grams of protein, pick these up. I bought mine on Sprouts, but I've seen them on Nutrition. I've seen them at a lot of health food stores like Whole Foods. I've even seen them at grocery stores like Kroger. I have a new salad dressing favorite, and this is from the brand Lighthouse. This is their purely balanced Garden Ranch Greek yogurt dressing. It is 45 calories for two tablespoons. So similar to Bolt House, but I think this one is so much better. The ingredients are better. The flavor is better. The ranch flavor in this one is really, really, really good. Now I found these at Sprouts. I actually bought them. This is the second bottle we've purchased because both Troy and I absolutely love them. I found them in the, I found it in the produce section in the refrigerated produce at Sprouts. Now I'm sure you can find this where lighthouse dressings are sold, but I know 100% you can get it at Sprouts. Definitely try it. If you love Bolt House, I think this one's substantially better. And last but not least, four food favorites is a sauce. I love a good sauce. This is from G Hughes. This is their sugar-free dipping sauce, famous cluckin'. So this is a dupe to the Chick-fil-A sauce. It is really good, you guys. Really, really delicious. It is two tablespoons for 100 calories, so it is a little bit higher in calories and points. One tablespoon of this is enough for me to dip some chicken nuggets in or dip my fries in, and it tastes just like the Chick-fil-A sauce. Much less calories, much less points. It's really good. It doesn't have any sugar-free aftertaste at all. I do find with some G. Hughes products that there's a little bit of an aftertaste. This one doesn't have it at all. Definitely recommend. favorites that I want to share with you, starting with something I've been loving, and that is my new single cup maker coffee pot and coffee grinder. You guys may or may not know that for about 12 years I owned coffee shops. The little drive through shops, I owned a couple shops inside my local YMCA. So I consider myself to be a little bit of a coffee connoisseur and I really wanted a high quality drip coffee that I could make at home. And if you didn't know, buying your coffee in whole bean form and grinding it fresh is going to deliver the best taste that you can get from coffee in the freshest coffee option. So rather than buying already pre-ground coffee. Buying in the whole bean form is a much better alternative. So I wanted to pick up a coffee pot and coffee grinder so that I could make delicious drip coffee for a little bit of an afternoon pick-me-up or in the morning if I just wanted a nice hot cup of coffee. So I picked up this single serve coffee maker that you can use both K-cups and ground coffee in. It is a 6 to 14 ounce brew size. You can actually fit a travel mug underneath the spout which is really helpful. It's just a mini one cup coffee maker and it even and includes a self cleaning function. I love that you can use the K-cups if you want or ground coffee. That makes it really convenient and it eliminates you having to buy two separate kitchen appliances. You can control you can control the brew with the strength control. So you can decide how rich and flavorful you want your coffee to be. It's very compact, so it fits in small spaces like apartments or travel trailers or small cabinets. It's great for hotels as well. And it also fits a 6.7 inch tall travel mug or smaller. So that's really convenient if you're in a hurry. You can just pop your travel mug under and brew your coffee into that. Save yourself a cleaning step. And speaking of cleaning, it also has a self-cleaning function. So if you use this every one to two months, you can avoid any clogging or problems with your coffee maker. You can run some white vinegar water mix through it, helps descale it and clean it up for you. It's affordable and it's convenient and I love that it's just a single cup maker. If you didn't know, Troy doesn't like coffee, so I'm the only one in my family that drinks coffee. So having a smaller, more portable, compact coffee maker that makes just enough for me has been ideal. This one is such great quality. It's aesthetically pleasing if you want to leave it out on your counter. And I love how versatile it is. Ground coffee, K-cups, travel mugs. It's just a fantastic coffee maker. But because I like to brew my coffee from whole bean and grind it fresh, I found this amazing, amazing coffee grinder to pair with my new coffee pot. So this is an electric conical burr coffee grinder. It's adjustable with 19 different settings. It's stainless steel and it makes drip, percolator, French press, espresso, or Turkish 
coffee. So you can actually grind your bean to make whatever type of coffee you want. I like my beans ground really, really fine. So it's more like espresso style. So it's a rich cup of coffee. The electric burr mill features total ease with one button operation, which is really handy. Some of these coffee grinders can be really complicated to use. And it also does a 12 cup capacity. So you can grind enough coffee for 12 cups. Again, it has a stainless steel conical burr, which is professional grade. So it will last you for several years, 19 precise different grind settings, and you can do two to 12 adjustable cup amount of coffee, which I also appreciate because for me, I use the smallest amount for my single use coffee maker. It's sturdy and durable, and it's equipped with a powerful motor, a safety lock and blue light completion indicator, letting you know when your coffee is grinding ground and ready to go. So these two new little home kitchen appliances have been big game changers for me. They are both currently on sale on Amazon, free shipping. So I'll link them down below for you. If you want to up your coffee game, highly recommend both of these. The other new little kitchen product that I picked up was from Target and that are these cute little striped bowls. They had them in orange, yellow, and green two of the bowls for $3. So it's in their little affordable kitchen section. They are kind of that melamine plastic, but these are great for meal prep, for putting in spices, dicing up vegetables. They're the perfect size. I love to even eat yogurt or dessert out of these because I can fill it up and it feels like I'm getting a lot, even though it's a smaller bowl. These are just so cute. And I thought for a buck 50 a piece or $3 for both, that's an incredible deal. that I have for you for home favorites. Now let's jump into beauty and skincare favorites for the month. First, I wanna share with you a skincare item that I actually have finished up and reordered because it was a complete game changer for my skin. And that is from the brand Kate Somerville, and this is the Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. Oh my gosh. I mean, literally, this is completely gone. I used every drop of it. I just reordered it. This is the best, best, best nighttime moisturizer. I don't know what's in here. I don't know how it works, but it actually exfoliates your skin overnight. So when you wake up, your skin is glowy and fresh and moisturized and hydrated. It is incredible. It is a miracle skincare product. I absolutely love it. Now it isn't a cheap product. It's pretty pricey, but a little bit goes a really long way. And I would say it took me at least three to four months to use this up. And I put it on my skin every single night. If you feel like your skin's a little bit dull and drab, pick this up. You will not be sorry. It is a game changer for your skin. So for makeup favorites, we're going to start with this blush from Flower Beauty. So this is an affordable drugstore brand. This is the Gel Crush Blush, and I just love this really fun, bright, summery shade. It is a pinky kind of coral shade, and this is a cream blush. So what I do is I take my brush, dab it into the blush, and then buff it into my skin. This is actually the blush that I have on today. It is super, super affordable. I love the kind of deodorant style roll up container. It is just a beautiful, beautiful blush, really easy to blend out and gives you that really pretty flushed look. A lip gloss that I've been loving, the lip gloss that I have on today comes from Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Cream Gloss in Peach. It smells like peach. It's beautiful. It's actually the lip gloss that I have on today. I really like this because it's very hydrating and it lasts a long time. With lip gloss, lip oils. You can sometimes feel like it's gone in minutes. The Fenty ones last a long time. The other thing that I love about it is how big the doe foot is. So you can get a nice application of the lip gloss. This is actually a small size that came in like a three set. I love the peach. It's my favorite. This is the highlighter I've been loving. And I know what you're thinking it's purple. Yes, it is. This is also the highlighter that I have on today. This is from the brand About Face, which is Halsey's brand. It is like cream to powder. Look at how beautiful that is. Don't let the purple intimidate you because on the skin, as you can see, it's just really pretty and stunning and glowy. This is a great formula and I love that it's a little bit different because it is more that purple tinted highlighter. I love, love, love this. I've been reaching for this one a lot and I have 
have well over 60 highlighters, so the fact that this has been a go-to speaks to how much I love it. Speaking of glow, you know I love to glow. I have been obsessed with this as well. This is from Ofra. This is their new liquid highlighter. So I actually don't use this as a highlighter. I use this with my foundation for that glow from within. I have this on today with my foundation and I just feel like it gives you that really pretty glow to your skin. Nothing unnatural, but more like who is she with the glowy skin? I absolutely love it mixed with foundation. I don't love it as a liquid highlighter. I found for me that when I applied it as highlighter, it would pick up the product underneath. So it wasn't my favorite highlighter, but as a liquid illuminizer mix in with foundation, million out of 10. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have to share with you my new obsession for setting powder. This is brand new from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Jaclyn X Robin, which is her mom. They did a little collab together. This is the Sheer Light Powder. If you are over the age of 40, this is the best, the best setting powder I have ever, ever used. I have this under my eyes. I have this on my face. And in fact, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking what powder I use because my under eyes look so flawless. It's this. This is so, so good for aging and mature skin. It does not settle into fine lines. And as a setting powder for the face, I feel like it gives you this faux photo finish look. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful powder. It is pretty affordable and you get a large amount in here. I also love that it has a little bit of a glow and luminosity to it. It's absolutely in Incredible, 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 incredible. I also have a mascara favorite that I wanna share with you, and this one took me a bit by surprise. This is actually from Tarte, and this is the Light Camera Lashes Mascara. Now, I used a Tarte mascara in a pink tube. I can't even remember what it was, but I hated it. It was a terrible mascara. So I was a little skeptical about this one, but this mascara, this mascara is so good. I am wearing false lashes today, but I have this mascara on my lower lash line, it is just a really, really good mascara. I really like the wand of it because it's nice and thick so you can really get in there and add a lot of color and volume and density to your natural lashes. I think the packaging is pretty fun. It's like a material leathery packaging. I was pretty impressed with this. I mean, really it took me by surprise. It's quickly become one of my favorite mascaras. Shocking. And I wanna finish out my beauty favorites and my May favorites in general, as always, with the eyeshadow palette of the month. Now, I have a different palette on my eyes today, but the palette I want to share with you is affordable and it's beautiful. The color story is beautiful. The formula is incredible and it actually comes from ColourPop and this is the ColourPop Tinkerbell palette. So this is a collaboration that they did with Disney and Tinkerbell. It is the Sprinkle a Little Magic palette. It does have a mirror. Look how pretty this is. I think this is perfect for spring and summer. It's perfect for neutral lovers, color lovers. There's quite a few neutral shades in here. We have four pretty neutral mattes and two really neutral shimmers, and then we have some fun color. We have a beautiful green matte and three beautiful green shimmers. So whether you're a neutral lover or a color lover, you have everything in this little palette. It's super, super affordable, and this is one of the best palettes, formula-wise, that ColourPop's ever put out. The mattes are buttery soft, the shimmers are stunning. I mean, absolutely stunning. Let me show you a couple of the shimmers. I mean, they are so beautiful. One swipe in just gives you this beautiful shimmer. Look at that. I mean, these are absolutely stunning. Look at the reflect and the shift. Like I said, the mattes are really, really good too. So I'll link this little ColourPop palette down below for you with a discount code. I believe if you use the code TRENDMOOD, you can save 10% on the ColourPop website. Add the Sprinkle A Little Magic palette to your cart. So good. So those are all of my May favorites. Just tons and tons of WW foods, home favorites, beauty favorites. Everything will be linked down below. Any discounts I can find, any deals, any coupons, it'll all be down below for you. If you enjoyed another favorites, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what of my favorites are you really excited about and may have to pick up for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and ring your bell because I do a favorites every month and I upload five days a week. Down in the description box, along with everything I shared today, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. We would love to have you come on over and join us there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.